takes a lot of steps. Anyways, stand back, chicken. Stand. You're gonna want to stand back. I'm sorry. Uh, this could be dangerous. <laughs> Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another Things in Minecraft. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys seven chest glitches. If you guys are liking this series, smack that like button down below, and I can get you some more Things in Minecraft videos. Hope you find some of these chest glitches to be useful. If you do know one that I didn't list, comment it down below. But other than that, let's get started with the video. Number one. If you want a pretty good hidden chest, set up your wall just like this and take some stairs. It could be any kind. I got some oak wood stairs. You're going to want to put a stair like this and then put down a corner one just like that. And then put the chest down behind the first stair you placed. And then when you right click it, you can actually access it through the wall on the other side. Pretty neat. It's very simple, and I don't know if it's a glitch or if they plan on fixing that, but this is in 1.8.8, so uh, it still works. Moving on to number two. All right, so check this one out, guys. This is pretty cool. You can put down a double chest, and then right next to it, enter in this command. The link will be in the description below, and then you will get a weird glitched out double chest. It will appear that the chest you put down earlier over here is connected, but you've got a chest over on this side as well, so it's like a triple chest. If you right click in the middle chest, you will get a weird uh, user interface that looks like this. Um, you can actually use any of the slots in this area to store any items you want, even in this middle bar spot. So basically, you've got a triple chest that actually Moving works. Moving on to number two. And uh, this side is invisible. Number three. <laughs> Okay, for this next glitch, you're going to want to put down a minecart with a chest on the ground and then destroy the block from underneath it so that it falls. Then you're going to want to place a block right here and then a piston kind of facing up. Oh, missed. I missed a little bit. Okay, there we go. Um, and then after that, you're going to put another block right here and then kind of um, just look up at the block, place another piston so that way the piston is facing the other piston. Just like that. And then, hold on, I actually have to put this block back. Once we activate this piston, watch what happens. Takes a lot of steps. Anyways, stand back, chicken. Stand, you're going to want to stand back. I'm sorry. Uh, this could be dangerous. We're going to activate this piston here, just like that. And then, as you can see, you now have a hidden chest that is only accessible when activated by redstone. So if I get this lever here, and I pull it, I can now access my chest with all my goodies, but if it isn't activated, no matter how many times I right click, I cannot activate this chest. So, activate it, and then use the chest. Pretty cool. Um, and then also if you put a pressure plate, that works as well, so that way you can just step on it whenever you walk into your house. I heard this glitch also works for PS4 and potentially Xbox One, I'm not too sure. Let me know down in the comments if this works on console as well. Moving on to number four. Okay, so for this next glitch, put down two chests just like that. Then put some rails next to it just like this. And actually, I'm going to elevate these rails just a little bit. There we go. So that way there's a slant headed directly into the chest. Then put your minecart with the chest right on the top of the hill and push it down. And there you have it, folks. It is a chest inside of a chest. Chestception. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this because my OCD just gets the best of me and I have to make this chest just perfect. And if I were to walk around it and at any angle, it could potentially push the minecart out of the chest. So, I mean, it's still usable. As you can see, I can right-click my normal chest or... If I aim my mouse just right, I can right-click the hitbox of the minecart and open up that chest. So it's kind of cool, because you get a little bit more chest space. But yeah, uh, chestception. <laughs> Number five. Okay, so for this one, you only need a chest and a minecart. Simply place down a chest and then delete the block right beneath it. And then you can put down a rail and a minecart. 
Then, when you right click the minecart, you can see through the chest! And this kind of works when you go underground, you can actually see underground and see all the mine shafts and lava and stuff. Um, but if you're just in your own house and you want to like say surprise your friend, um, wait for him to walk up to the chest, then BOOM! Open it up I guess, I don't, I don't know, I guess scare them? Scream at him and then open this chest a bunch? Pretend you're a ghost? I don't know. I mean, it's almost Halloween, you could get creative. But yeah, you can hide in chest. And I can't even see myself. This is in third person right now. Number six. Okay, so for this next one, I've set up a little wall here. What you want to do for this is put down a rail and a minecart with a chest. Destroy the block from underneath so it falls. And then place a piston on the other side of a block just like this and then whenever you activate the piston it will push whatever block you want into your minecart so they kind of just combine and then from here you can just repair the wall wherever you wish and uh, boom you've got a secret chest kind of just stuck in the wall um, it's only visible usually from one side so I can right click over here access it but if I go over here I can still access actually and um, it's actually not even visible so if you can get it just right um, this thing can be hidden completely and if you just right click on any wall um, it'll be accessible so but if as you can see if I touch it just like that it will be visible from this side and now I have to use it from this side which I actually can't I'm, I'm right clicking everywhere and I, I can't do it from this side now so this glitch is a little touchy but uh, it's still very cool and easy to do. It's number seven time! Okay, so this next one's kind of hard to do and I might not get it on my first try, but I'll tell you guys how to do it. If you place down a chest and a piece of TNT, you can uh, right click the TNT to ignite it and what you're going to want to do is while it's ignited, hover over this square right here and tap one with whatever item in this spot that you want to duplicate. And then of course, uh, if you time it just right, the TNT will blow up this chest and you will just get a ton of these. And I will explain that if I can pull this off. All right, let's try this. Light and one, 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 one. Come on, we got this. Did it work? No, it didn't work. And the way you can actually tell if it works is if you get your block of diamond back or whatever you're trying to duplicate and there's a number down in the bottom corner that is red and it says zero. Once you get this special item, take it over to a dispenser that has a couple repeaters connected to it and then drop it in there and watch the infinite items fly out. I think they partially fixed this glitch in Minecraft 1.8.4. I think it's still possible, it's just definitely harder to pull off. But yeah, guys, that is it for this episode of Things in Minecraft. If you did enjoy, smack that like button down below. Let me know if you want to see some more glitches and tricks and things like that in Minecraft 1.9 when that update comes out. But uh, other than that, I will talk to you stars later, and see you guys.